Kingston Arena played host to some of the strongest junior basketball teams in Europe last weekend at the Future Stars tournament. The under-18 competition featured the national teams from Israel, Italy, Spain, Poland and England, as well as a select Richmond College squad. The event was set up by coach Jack Majewski, who thinks competitions like Future Stars are key to us improving as a nation. The only way to improve the English basketball and improve on the permanent basis is that when you've got a contact, uh, permanent and ongoing contact with European basketball, you know, that's, that's the only way. England under-18 coach Dre Elaney also thought it's just what we need. It's great for us to be playing against A-League teams. I mean, you know, on your own doorstep, Israel, you know, you've you know, you got the Spanish, you've got the Italians. This is great to actually give our, our players an opportunity to play against A-League players and see, you know, this is what you need to be at. Unfortunately though, England lost their two qualifying games, going down by 7 to Poland and 28 to Spain. One bright spark though was Ryan Richards. The 6'10 centre was almost unstoppable once he got the ball down low and put 15 on the Polish and 20 on the Spanish. I felt like we could have performed better as a team and I felt I could have played a lot better, um, especially on defence, but uh, like just I know all the Spanish guys, I was there for two years, I played them all, I just kind of wanted to prove a point and I think I think I was happy with my performance, but I just could have done a bit better on defence on the defensive end. Well, despite some of Ryan's concerns about how he played, it seemed he impressed pretty much everyone else. Well, Ryan, <laughs> let's face it, I mean, the guy is nearly seven foot, plays like he's six six, you know, does everything and the lefty to boot. So, I mean, he, he's, he's, he's got the whole package. He is that talented, he's that gifted, he is that good. And I have to say, he is the most talented player and gifted player that I've ever coached in my, in my years. I'm talking about when I was professionally coaching in the BBL. This guy's got a huge upside to his game and he's still only 17, 18 years old. In terms of natural talent, he's probably one of the most dominant players. Um, I don't think I'm wrong by saying the most dominant natural talent in this tournament. Meanwhile, the other English team, Richmond, also lost both their games to Israel and Italy. Diminutive point guard Kaelin Raptopoulos had some hot shooting streaks though, scoring 16 and 12 respectively. But it was the Spanish who showed very quickly that they were the team to beat as they came out flaming against Poland in their first game. Before you even had time to blink they were up 10 and they ended the first quarter leading 32 to 12. Their team play was unbelievable, they moved the ball so well and every score seemed almost effortless. So after beating Poland by 35, I thought they came England by about 60, but they led by just 11 at the half. However, after the break, they stepped up the pressure on our guards, who either got stripped or couldn't manufacture a decent offense. Spanish point guard Nacho Guijo was great at both ends of the floor as he led them to victory. Meanwhile, in the day's other game, Italy beat Israel 83 to 78. That set up a Poland versus Italy semi-final, which Poland won by two after their guard hit a huge tray at the end. Meanwhile, Spain handed Israel a nine-point loss. In the final, Spain's 6'5", Miki Severa was the man. The 92-born baller from Unicaya Malaga did a bit of everything, from running the point to scoring to playing defense, and was without doubt the MVP as he led Spain to victory. So, all in all, a great weekend of basketball. But how come the European teams are so far ahead of our English ones, especially when you consider that, athletically, we're just as good as anyone else? It's the quality of coaching that they're getting. I think if you, if you by and large, if you go to their, their systems, I mean, they don't have school systems, they all go to after-school clubs where they get good coaching, and I think they have a better system. That's where we're not up to par here. I think you have pockets, I and mean, you're talking about Manchester, you talk about Sheffield, you know, you may talk about maybe a couple of teams down south, but there really isn't that whole 
mass thing going on up and down the country in England. Whereas I think when you go to Spain, Italy, Greece, every kid is fundamentally taught. Every kid gets better that way, and hence that's why, like you say, we're, we're as athletically gifted as um, you know every anybody in the world. Really, I mean, we're, we're on an even par. But when it comes to actually skill and execution. And I think that's where we lack. And I think it comes down to the bare fundamentals of how it's actually taught, grassroots level, moving through to like 16, 17, 18 year olds and obviously taking it into the men's. If you had good players, if you have the athletes, uh, the, the most important is to play like a team. If you want to compete, if you want to win, only as a team. So you have to learn how to, to work for, for a team and uh, it's difficult.